Oh, oh, it was all a joke, friends. I was fooling you all these years. He would be sued by universities, by schools of all kinds, by companies, and by actual countries themselves who spent millions of dollars on investigating the Geller effect, so-called. So he'd be in uh, what you call the deep chip. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be in big trouble. He'd have lots of, of legal situations to handle. So I think that maybe he's, he's sort of moving off the mystifier uh, designation. Uh, and, and now he's just a plain liar. <laughs> As opposed to an honest one. Yes. And that gets us to you guys. See, that's as, as clever as I get. Uh, yes, ma'am, you're right there. there. We do have a microphone coming to you. Uh, I really enjoyed that movie, and I felt like you were saying things that a lot of people are saying as well about psychic and faith healers, and it was nice to be confirmed by your statements and by your writing about that. The question I have for you, do you feel that all psychics are frauds? Well, I can't say that, no. Uh, I always allow, you see, people refer to me as a debunker. I do not like the designation at all because if I were a debunker, that would mean that I go into an investigation saying, this is not so, and I'm going to show you that it's not so. I can't afford that. If I'm an investigator, I'm an investigator. So I say I'm an investigator, I may eventually, and I do, come to the conclusion that I'm a debunker of this particular claim, if and when it goes to a point where I have to do that. But there is a possibility. There might be something like this. I very much doubt it, because, you know, I'm, I've just turned 86 yesterday. Yeah. My... Yeah. I don't show me, Chip. I, I don't feel the day over 84. Uh, but the point is, I have to always make revision in the back of my mind. Maybe somebody someplace does have one of these powers. Now, I very much doubt that. I have no expectation whatsoever of ever having it proven to them. But I have to go into it with the honest attitude that this may be true, let's find out. So I'm an investigator, I'm not a debunker. Was there ever an incident that you desperately wanted to be true? Was there one thing that you hoped you'd find out was real? I wish I could say yes, but no. No, I... Uh, you know, I had a rather vast experience as a conjurer. That's a magician, actually. So I hate to use that word. That's an English word used in the UK, but not often used in this country or in the United States of America. Uh, but I am a, a conjurer. That is a person who approximates the effect of a genuine magician who would be able to actually subvert nature in some way or another. Um, as, as a conjurer, I, I have a certain responsibility I have to be very careful. When I started out my magic career, as a matter of fact, as a teenager, I did mentalism a great deal. Uh, I may even show you an example of my skills, if you're very good. That's not good enough. <laughs> well, we'll see. Should I back away slowly? Is there yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is not. The vibrations are very small. <laughs> um, I go, shall I, I do it now? Why not? Like? Oh, I'll, I'll do a little stunt. You saw me do a stunt in there where I had my hands tied consistently. Uh, I'd like to have two gentlemen on the stage, two large gentlemen, please, that I don't know already. Do we have 